Hi, this is Spencer with One Day CDL. Today we'll be covering a pre-trip inspection for the Iowa DOT. This is the in-cab inspection. You will start with an air brake check. The air brake check itself is pass or fail, so if you make a mistake on the air brake check, don't move on, start it over. Your pressure will be built to 120, both brakes are on, and you'll be in gear, that way once you release the brakes, you're not going to roll. Air brake check, key on, brakes off. Bring a timer or a watch with you so you can count your minutes. I will press and hold the brake pedal for one minute, making sure I do not lose more than four PSI in that minute. I got my timer here, I will count the minute. So for practice sake, I will call that a minute and we haven't lost more than four PSI. I will now pump the brake pedal down to 60 PSI. I should get a low air warning light and buzzer. So let's check that. At 60 PSI, my low air warning light and buzzer came on. So that's working. I will continue to pump my brake pedal in between 20 and 40 PSI both parking and trailer brakes will pop out. Around 40 PSI, my trailer brake has popped out. And around 20 PSI, my parking brake has popped out. That completes the air brake check. I will now do a safe start. I check around the vehicle to make sure nobody's around us, looking at my mirrors. I'll put the clutch in, go back to neutral, and start the truck. I will rev the motor so I can build the air compressor quicker. While I'm building pressure, I will explain a service brake check. That's a brake pedal check. To test my service brake, I would get up to about 5 miles per hour, push on the brake, and I need to make sure the truck does not pull left or right and no ABS light comes on the dash. That one you explain, you do not demonstrate. The parking and trailer brake test, you will demonstrate for the DOT. Once I am at or above 60 PSI, one at a time, I will test both parking and trailer brakes. So here I'm at 60, I will push in the parking brake to test the trailer brake. I clutch in, go to first gear, Slowly bring the clutch out to tug on the trailer brake and make sure that it's holding. Clutch is engaged and we're not going anywhere. Trailer brake holds. I will do the same test for the parking brake. My trailer brake is in, parking brake is out. I'm in first gear. I will engage the clutch. And the parking brake is holding. We're not going anywhere. Now that all of the brake checks are done, I will go top left to bottom right like I'm reading a book. Starting up here with my seat belt, my seat belt is securely mounted both top and bottom. The belt itself has no cuts, tears, or frays, and the buckle latches and unlatches properly. My mirrors are securely mounted and they're adjusted for me. They are not chipped, cracked, or broken, and there are no obstructions. My windshield is fully sealed and securely mounted. There are no chips, cracks, or anything broken, and there's no obstructions like an illegal sticker or piece of debris. My windshield wipers are making full contact with the windshield. They are not cracked, bent, or broken. The rubber is not torn or frayed, and they work with washer fluid. Then we go down to the dash. You have four lights and four gauges to check. Four lights, my left signal, right signal, high beam indicator, and hazards are all working on the dash. My four gauges. Here is the water temperature gauge, which is in operating range with no warning lights on. My oil pressure. The gauge is in operating range with no warning lights on. The voltmeter, they want to hear the numbers. Between 12 and 14 volts is operating range. It's there, and there are no warning lights on. My air pressure gauge will build up to or cut off at 120, and it has no warning lights on. 
Moving down, we test the horns and they are working. Over to heat and defrost. We'll turn our fan on, check the defrost and heat, and they are both working. And finally, safety equipment. I have spare fuses here in the ashtray. Three reflective triangles under the passenger seat. They are in the red box and securely mounted. And my fire extinguisher is securely mounted, fully charged, and it's DOT approved. Before you get out, make sure you have every point that's available. Take a moment and double check your work. You are not done until you say, I'm done. This is the coupling portion of your pre-trip inspection. Coupling you will have to do no matter what. We will start with our air and electrical lines. This is the service line, the blue line, is securely mounted to the glad hands on the trailer. The glad hands are not leaking. The line itself is not cracked, broken, or leaking, and it is securely mounted to the truck. My emergency line, the red line, is securely mounted to the glad hands on the trailer. There are no leaks coming from the glad hands. The line itself is not cracked, broken, or leaking, and it is securely mounted to the truck. My electrical line is securely mounted and plugged into the trailer. The line is not cut, torn, or frayed, and it is securely mounted and plugged into the truck. That is air and electrical. All three lines are hung up properly, not loose, tangled, or dragging anywhere on my frame or drive shaft. Then we move under the trailer, we'll go top to bottom, starting with the apron. The apron is securely mounted, it is not cracked, bent, or broken. The fifth wheel is securely mounted, it is not cracked, bent, or broken, and it's properly greased. There is no gap in between the apron and fifth wheel. The platform is securely mounted. It is not cracked, bent, or broken. All the mounting bolts to the frame and platform are tight. None are missing, loose, or damaged. The release arm is locked in place for travel, securely mounted, not cracked, bent, or broken. Then we move to the back of the truck. And right in the middle of the fifth wheel, is the kingpin, and the kingpin is securely mounted, not cracked, bent, or broken. The locking jaws are locked in place for travel around the kingpin. They are securely mounted, not cracked, bent, or broken. And finally, we need to check and make sure there is enough clearance between the back of the truck and the landing gear so I can turn safely. And that completes coupling. This is form A the engine compartment, steering components, suspension brakes, tires. We will also inspect all of the lights on the front of the vehicle. They are all securely mounted, none are cracked or broken, they all work, and they're all the proper color. We check underneath the vehicle for any leaks. I see no oil or water on the ground which would indicate a leak, and the truck is not leaning to one side or the other. We will start on the passenger side, We'll open the hood. On the passenger side, we have coolant tank, alternator, and water pump. Starting with the coolant tank, it is securely mounted. It is not cracked, broken, or leaking, and the level is full. All of my hoses on the passenger side are all securely mounted. None are cracked, broken, or leaking. The alternator is securely mounted it is not cracked, bent, or broken, and the alternator is belt driven. The belt has less than three quarters of an inch of free play. The belt is not cut, torn, or frayed, and the wires to the alternator are securely connected. They are not cut, torn, or frayed. Right below the alternator is the water pump. Water pump is securely mounted. It is not cracked, broken, or leaking, it is also belt driven. That completes the passenger side. So we move to the driver's side. And over here, we will inspect the power steering, air compressor, and oil level. Starting with the power steering reservoir. 
securely mounted. It is not cracked, broken, or leaking. The level is full. My power steering pump is gear driven. All my hoses for power steering are securely mounted. None are cracked, broken, or leaking. My air compressor is securely mounted. It is not cracked, bent, broken, or leaking. The air compressor is also gear driven. And all of my hoses for the air compressor are securely mounted. None are cracked, broken, or leaking. This is the engine oil dipstick. We have checked it this morning. It is at the proper level. Moving on to the steering box. The steering box is securely mounted. It is not cracked, broken, or leaking. The steering shaft is securely mounted with U-joints in place. U-joints are properly greased and the steering shaft is not cracked, bent, or broken. Steering linkage. There are three parts in the steering linkage. They are all securely mounted, not cracked, bent, or broken, and the castle nut and cotter key is in place and tight. Moving on to suspension, both front and back spring mounts are securely mounted, not cracked, bent, or broken. The leaf springs are all in a straight line, none have shifted. They are securely mounted, not cracked, bent, or broken. The U-bolts are on tight, securely mounted, not cracked, bent, or broken. And the shock is securely mounted, not cracked, bent, broken, or leaking. Securely mounted on both ends. My brakes, this is the brake hose. Brake hose is securely mounted. It is not cracked, broken, or leaking. The hose leads to the brake chamber. The brake chamber is securely mounted with retainer ring in place. It is not cracked, bent, broken, or leaking. The slack adjuster is securely mounted with the pins and keys in place. It is not cracked, bent, or broken and has less than one inch of free play. On the inside of the wheel, we inspect the brake drum and brake shoe, which is not cracked, bent, or broken. There is no oil or grease between the drum and shoe, and the brake shoes themselves are at least a quarter inch thick. My tires, I'm looking at the tread. The tread is evenly worn with no bald spots. It has more than four thirty seconds of an inch of tread. The sidewalls, both inner and outer sidewalls, have no abrasions, bulges, or cuts, and we have checked inflation this morning with a tire gauge. The tires are full. The rim is securely mounted. It is not cracked, bent, or broken. There are no aftermarket welds or illegal welds on the rim. All of my lug nuts are tight. None are loose. There are no rust trails or shiny threads which indicate looseness. Finally, the hub seal. Hub seal is securely mounted. It is not cracked, broken, or leaking, and the level is full. That completes your Form A. Form B is the driver door, fuel area, back of the truck. They will tell you to cover frame, drive shaft, exhaust, and then again, suspension brakes, tires. We'll start on the passenger side with our fuel tank. The fuel tank itself is securely mounted. It's not cracked, broken, or leaking. The straps for the fuel tank are securely mounted, not cracked, bent, or broken. The cap for the fuel tank is on tight, it's not missing, it's not cracked, broken, or leaking. And then my fuel tank lines are securely mounted, they're not cracked, broken, or leaking. Moving on to the driver's side door, we will start with the door hinges. The door hinges are securely mounted, not cracked, bent, or broken. There's no sag in the door. The door seal is intact, makes a full seal, it's not cut, torn, or frayed. When I shut the door, the door latches properly. The steps are securely mounted. They are not cracked, bent, or broken, and free of debris. Nothing to trip or slip on getting in and out of the truck. Mirror brackets are securely mounted, all hardware in place, and not cracked, bent, or broken. Moving on to the frame. The frame itself, everything is securely mounted to the frame. Cross members and bolts in place, 
nothing cracked, bent, or broken, and just like the rims, no aftermarket welds. The drive shaft. Drive shaft is securely mounted with U-joints in place. Not cracked, bent, or broken, and no debris around the U-joints or the drive shaft itself. The exhaust is securely mounted. It is not cracked, broken, or leaking. There's no carbon or soot, which would indicate a leak on your exhaust. Moving back to suspension. My front and rear mounts are securely mounted, not cracked, bent, or broken. The leaf springs are all in a straight line. None have shifted. None are cracked, bent, or broken. The U-bolts are securely mounted, not cracked, bent, or broken. And this suspension system has no airbags, no shock, and no torsion bar. So we don't need to mention that. On to the brakes. I'll start with my hoses, which are securely mounted. They are not cracked, broken, or leaking. The brake chamber is securely mounted with the retainer ring. It is not cracked, broken, or leaking. Now right behind the chamber is the slack adjuster. It's hard to see from where we're at, but it's directly behind the chamber. Slack adjuster is securely mounted with all the pins and keys in place. It is not cracked, bent, or broken, and it has less than one inch of free play. On the inside of the wheel, is the brake drum and brake shoe. There's no oil or grease between the drum and shoe. They are not cracked, bent, or broken, and the brake shoes are at least a quarter inch thick. Moving on to tires. The top of the tire, the tread is worn evenly. There are no bald spots and has more than two thirty seconds of an inch of tread. In between the tires, there's no debris and they are spaced evenly, no gaps in the rim. Inner and outer sidewalls on both sets of tires are securely mounted. There are no abrasions, bulges, or cuts. And we checked the inflation on both tires with the tire gauge, and the tires are full. Moving to the outside, we inspect the rim. The rim is securely mounted, not cracked, bent, or broken, and it has no illegal or aftermarket welds. All of my lug nuts, they're all tight. None are rusty, none are shiny, which would indicate looseness on the lug nuts. The axle seal is securely mounted. It is not cracked, broken, or leaking, and the level is full. Moving to the back of the truck, we have mud flaps. They are properly spaced from the tire and ground. They are securely mounted, not cut, torn, or frayed. I have reflectors on the back of the mud flap and back of the cab. Reflectors are clean. DOT approved, no reflectors are missing. Finally, the tail lights are the proper color red, securely mounted, they are not cracked or broken, and they work. And that completes Form B. This is Form C, the entire trailer. Starting with the header board. The header board is securely mounted, not cracked, bent, or broken, and it's strong enough to hold the weight of the load. My side lights are amber in front, red in the rear. They are all securely mounted. None are cracked or broken. They work, and I just said they're the proper color. Amber in front, red in the back. Reflector tape is clean. It is DOT approved. None is missing. Reflectors on the trailer need to cover at least 50%. Tie downs. All my tie down mounts and straps are securely mounted. They are not cracked, bent, or broken, and none are missing. Moving on to the landing gear. The landing gear itself is in the travel position. It's all the way up. Securely mounted, not cracked, bent, or broken. The crank for the landing gear is in travel position. It is securely mounted, not cracked, bent, or broken, and it functions properly. The frame and cross members are all there, everything is securely mounted to the frame, it is not cracked, bent, or broken, and there are no aftermarket or illegal welds. If you have toolboxes, you need to mention them. My toolboxes are shut and closed for travel, they are securely mounted, nothing is cracked, bent, or broken on either toolbox. Moving all the way back to the rear axle, I'll start with mud flaps. Mud flaps have the proper spacing from the tire and ground. They are securely mounted, not cut, torn, or frayed. 
Moving on to suspension, my front and rear spring mounts are securely mounted. They are not cracked, bent, or broken. The leaf springs are all in a straight line. None have shifted. None are cracked, bent, or broken. The U-bolts are securely mounted. They are not cracked, bent, or broken. And the torque bar is securely mounted on both ends. It is not cracked, bent, or broken. Onto the brakes, there are my brake lines. Brake hoses are securely mounted, not cracked, broken, or leaking. The brake chamber is securely mounted with the retainer ring. It is not cracked, broken, or leaking. Directly behind the brake chamber, you can see the slack adjusters. Slack adjusters are securely mounted with all the pins and keys in place. Not cracked, bent, or broken, has less than one inch of free play, and the slack adjusters need to be at a 90 degree angle when the brakes are applied. Right here's the brake drum and shoe. Brake drum and shoe are not cracked, bent, or broken. There's no oil or grease in between the drum and shoe, and the brake shoes themselves are at least a quarter inch thick. The tires, top of the tire, tread is evenly worn, there are no bald spots, and more than two thirty seconds of an inch of tread. The sidewalls, both inner and outer, have no abrasions, bulges, or cuts, and we've checked inflation with the tire gauge. The tires are full. The rim is securely mounted, not cracked, bent, or broken, with no illegal or aftermarket welds. All my lugs are tight. There are no rust trails or shiny threads which indicate looseness. Hub seal, securely mounted, not cracked, broken, or leaking, and the level is full. To the back of the trailer, we need to do lights and reflectors again. All my tail lights are the proper color red. They're securely mounted, not cracked or broken, and they work. Reflector tape is clean, DOT approved, none is missing. That completes Form C, the trailer.